that. So going on now, three of their universal characters, Yum Yum Nanki Poo and Coco, uh, with their business about here's how to do. So you see, in the Mikado, in 1885, there's this situation. Yum Yum has just learned that according to an ancient Japanese law, all Japanese wives must be buried alive with their executed <coughs> husbands. She will be buried alive if she marries Nanki Poo, who has just agreed to be <coughs> executed in a month in exchange for being able to be married to Yum Yum for a month. If you wish in the merit to advance, your merits are bound to enhance. You must stir it and stop it, then blow your own trumpet or trust you haven't a chance. Most intense young man, a soulful eyed young man, an ultra poetical, super aesthetical, out of the way young man. In the third, well, the third one's complicated with uh, uh, stolen babies, mixed up babies, and some other issues, and it's complicated. We'll, we'll focus on the two we just talked about. And you know, we really should get a sampling of this uh, baby business with Gilbert and Sullivan. For one thing, it's some of their best stuff. And of course, getting it out of the way so the know-it-alls out here can relax and enjoy the show because they won't have to deal with mixed up babies anymore. Uh, we'll do it now. So here we go, in order, by opera, ta-da! Baby messes. I mean, I guess that should be baby mess-ups. Uh, maybe baby mix-ups would be better. And uh, yes, at the... At the first one we're going to see, the fat lady comes out at the end of the show and confesses how she mixed up the babies. And first we'll hear from our dear little buttercup with confession at end of show. And now, Ruth, that piratical maid of all work, with confession at Beginning of show. You know, it's, uh, it's hard to stay in character and not just uh, laugh at these guys uh, that Gilbert and Sullivan create. Uh, and we should stop and talk for a moment again about uh, Gilbert and Sullivan and how they've become a part of our lives. <laughs> always family, always theatrical. So uh, this, uh, this song just takes me back to a time. So this is your favorite song, Mr. I? Oh, that guy, Smithers. I call him Smithers. If anybody wants to submit a, a start a contest, what we should name this guy. But I think Smithers kind of works for him. Yeah, Smithers and I had this conversation so this is your favorite song, Mr. I? Well, it's, it's special to me. Special, Mr. I? Well, the magic of those words, the, the spell they cast, the call to a higher sense of, of language, of sensibility. Losing me, Mr. I? The redolent of a time, a place of innocence, of wonder, of, of, of no limits, no impediments, of... The music, Mr. I, Mr. I. Yeah. Could you, could you teach us, Mr. I? I mean, I mean, everybody sing it, Mr. I. We, we get it then. We, yeah, fun, fun, fun. We'll get everybody going. Now to the bank we press. Now for the eggs and the ham. They'll all get excited. Cool, fun, fun, fun. That's what we will do. You get your chance here, all right? You just listen to the music and sing those words. You're going to be cool, and there's a real cool part at the end where this half of the audience has to go jam and that part has to go bun and this jam bun and then they switch and you guys go bun jam bun 
Jam. Okay, so here we go. Now to the back of the press. Now to the back of we press. Now for the eggs and the ham. Now for the mustard and cress. Now for the strawberry jam. Now for the tea of our host. Now for the rollicky bun. Now for the muffin and toast. And now for the gay salmi bun. Now for the muffin and toast. And now for the gay salmi bun. The eggs and the ham, the strawberry jam, the rollicky bun, and the gay salmi bun. The eggs and the ham, the strawberry jam, and the rollicky bun, and the gay salmi bun. The eggs and the ham, the strawberry jam, and the rollicky bun. The round the bun and the gay salmon bun and the strawberry jam jam bun jam bun oh the strawberry strawberry jam bun jam bun jam oh the rollicky rollicky bun. You may put them on the list, and they'll none of them be missed. They'll none of them be missed. Here's a pretty howdy do. We sail the ocean blue, and the saucy ships of beauty. We're sober men and true, and attentive to our duty. Sing, boom. 